In the Disney community, there are lots of different opinions. There are many things where many of us agree, and some very unpopular opinions. But the thing in which every Disney fan can agree is that Disney cast members are amazing. They are a huge part of what makes Disney parks so magical, and why they are truly the happiest places on Earth. So we asked some of you some of your favorite cast member stories, and here they are. If you want us to bring this series back, leave a comment to let us know. Mostly Disney. When I was about nine, I was quite scared after riding the Haunted Mansion for the first time. I did not like the scary parts, and that resulted in me crying very loudly. To calm me down, my mom bought me a balloon that made me very happy. About ten minutes later, I accidentally let go of it and watched it as it flew away. I yelled after my balloon when a cast member who was walking about ran over, jumped, and caught the balloon by the string in the nick of time. I gave him a big hug and said thanks, and he gave me my balloon back. Miss Natalie Grace My friend and I were taking pictures in front of the castle, and a duck flew over and pooped on him. Our photographer caught the whole thing on camera, and the photos were actually really funny. Then they took us over to one of the stores on Main Street and gave my friend a free sweatshirt and hat. Another interaction I had was during a fireworks show. I'm pretty sure it was remember, dreams come true. I was talking to the CM that was in charge of the VIP firework viewing area between the castle and the partner statue in the hut. I was just being conversational, asking how her day was. I was standing on the street and someone super tall came in front of me. I didn't want to be in any trouble, so I asked her if it was okay if I stood on the edge of the curb. She said it was fine and then asked me to excuse her for a sec. She came back and told me that if I wanted, my friend and I could stand behind the chairs because it was a way better view. They ended up having extra chairs, so she came back and told us that we could sit. It was awesome. Matthew Misa I was at Disneyland for my birthday. I had my birthday pin on. Almost every cast member that spotted me said happy birthday. But one cast member stood out. I went up to the stand by the queue for Soaring Over the World. It was about a 120 minute wait. He spotted my pin and told my group to follow him. We did, and he brought us through the exit of Soren and got us to the ride without waiting. After the ride, we followed him again, and he set up a special meet and greet with the Fab Five. Aka Hot Sizzle This was just after Coco came out on streaming about three years ago. My daughter was three, and we all really enjoyed it. We went to Epcot and visited Mexico shortly after. We hadn't been there in a while, and we were surprised to see they had tons of Coco theming and swag everywhere. A cast member noticed my daughter playing with a stuffed Dante from the movie, and started asking her about Coco and if she liked the movie. The CM asked if she knew the song, Remember Me. My daughter smiled and nodded. We had been singing the songs the entire week prior to going. The CM asked if she would like to sing it with her while she picked up a guitar. The CM got down on her knees and started singing Remember Me, the lullaby version. My daughter's face lit up, and she ever so quietly joined in. I cried on the spot. Every time we go back to Mexico at Epcot, I tear up. And for the life of me, I cannot listen to that song without getting all watery-eyed. Luckily, I videoed the whole thing and go back to it every so often. It was truly a magical moment for us. Jesse Webb When I was about 16, my family and I went to Disney World for the first time. I was trying to get back to where my mom and brother were, but kept getting turned around in Fantasyland. A cast member came up to me and asked if I needed help getting somewhere, and said, Don't worry, we'll help. When I asked, we, as she was the only one in front of me, she looked over her shoulder and said, Come on guys, we're going on an adventure. Cue Tigger and Pooh running to greet me. We walked hand in hand through Fantasyland until we found my mom. They were all so great, and I wish I got the CM's name that helped me out. She was so absolutely amazing. Uriah C. So usually, I hate waiting for Soren in DCA because it's the most boring and slowest moving line at the resort, in my opinion. But I was waiting for it, and the cast member made the line so fun for us by doing a Disneyland trivia, and whichever line answered the most questions right got to go first. Standby versus Fast Pass. It was a great experience that I wish I could have had more than once because it was so fun, and I was racking up all the points for my team, and we got to go first. 
Sarah Van Orden. This was about five years ago. Bit of a backstory. Frozen had just come out, and I am in a wheelchair. So I wanted to get to meet Anna and Elsa in Walt Disney World. There were no more fast passes, and my body could not handle the almost four hours of hot, humid Florida sun in the line. So we asked the cast member if we could get a fast pass to come back when it was our time. That's a procedure for disabled guests. And she told us that unfortunately, there were not any fast passes left. So we turned to leave. She stopped us and told us to go to the front of the line. Say it was Melissa's magic moment. They took us, a party of eight, immediately back to meet Anna and Elsa. I was so appreciative and even got a picture with her after I met Anna and Elsa. Ellie. I was at the town hall on Main Street, and I overheard a kid, couldn't have been older than five, crying. He and his mom were asking if he could see Kristoff from Frozen, who didn't yet have a character actor in the park. The cast member nailed it with how smoothly he handled the situation. He pulls out a plush of the reindeer from Frozen from behind his back, tells the kid that Kristoff says he's sad he couldn't see the kid before he had to go back to Arendelle, but he wanted the kid to look after the reindeer for him in the meantime. That kid was absolutely beaming, and my cold, dead heart grew three times that day. Killian Jones On my birthday, I went to meet Flynn and Rapunzel, and I brought a drawing I'd done of them for them to sign. As soon as they saw it, Rapunzel grabbed Flynn's hand and said, Eugene, your nose, it's perfect! And then Flynn offered to make me the official portrait painter for the royal family of Corona. Tangled is my favorite Disney movie, and those cast members really made me feel like I got to be part of that story. Blue Jean 95 It was a small thing, but when I was at the Magic Kingdom with my dad a few years ago, I was sitting around waiting for him. A cast member came up to me to check in and made sure I was okay. Like, of course, I was okay. I was in Disney World. But just getting checked on was super nice. It really stuck with me. The most recent trip I was with my fiancé and we picked up celebration buttons, which created a few magical moments. Got a ride down Main Street, a free breakfast pretzel in Hollywood Studios, breakfast pretzels are a thing, and most importantly, Scrooge McDuck himself congratulated me on my engagement. Michael Back in May 2018, I was planning on proposing to my then-girlfriend. At the start of the day, I sent her to get a birthday button so I could go to guest services and inquired about the possibility of having a photographer available to get a couple of pictures. The location was by the Wishing Well on the side of Cinderella Castle, which is an area where there are no photographers usually. I told them the reason for my request and the time when I would like to do it. The cast member was more than eager to relay my request to a supervisor. My now fiancé was walking up the steps when the cast member came back out and she gave me a nod and a thumbs up. As the time for the proposal drew closer, it started to rain, and I was afraid they wouldn't have a photographer at the location. How wrong I was. They had a photographer, an assistant holding an umbrella over the photographer, and a second assistant as well. We ended up getting a memorable proposal in the elements, and the cast members provided us with a little extra magic as well. We then strolled around the park, and my fiance got her wedding ears. While on Main Street, we were watching the Dapper Dance, and they noticed our happily ever after buttons in her ears, and I was lucky enough to serenade her with their assistance. The story doesn't end there. Unfortunately, because of the rain, a fair amount of the photos were not published in the photo pass, but when the rain cleared up, my fiance and I approached another photo pass photographer in the area of the old Rose Garden. We asked for some photos since a significant amount of them were affected by the rain. He was more than happy to take some photos at his current location, and then offered to take pictures at the wishing well for us. He was able to capture our favorite photo, which is now our wedding invitations. It could have been just the high from that day, but it seemed like every cast member we interacted with that day went above and beyond. Disney was a special place for both of us before, but now even more so. We will be back there for Mickey's very merry Christmas party at the tail end of our honeymoon to cap off our wedding adventure. Uber Vegan in 2012, I made frequent visits to the Disneyland resorts as a pass holder. One time, I was passing through Paradise Pier in a desolate area over near where Goofy Sky School is, in a part of DCA that few people walk through. I had to stop to tie my shoe, and I will never forget. Goofy snuck up behind me and surprised me. 
When he tapped me on my shoulder, I turned around and laughed with excitement and hugged him as soon as I realized it was him. While he was on his way backstage, Goofy went out of his way to greet me, make my day brighter, and made me feel special. Just before he danced off away from me backstage, I told him he had just made my day. I had no camera ready to capture the moment, but I wish I did because that was spontaneous and very magical. That was my favorite moment. We loved hearing your stories and would love to hear some more. So again, if you would like us to bring these series back, let us know. And also leave your cast member stories below for a chance to be featured on our next cast member stories video.